Okay, uh, off camera, I, um, you know, I rested and I bought some supplies and I think we're ready to hopefully finish up this, uh, this part of the game. So let's, uh, get into some trouble. Huh? Laying low. Go. Okay. Sure. Shall be discreet. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's a lot of guys. They've got a knight, a looter, more looters, a bunch of looters. Let's set up by this threshold here. Huh? I think it may be time. Huh? I'm to strike up the hilt. Yeah. 
Brazil! Okay, that was kind of hard. Sure. This isn't working! What? Okay, are we ready to take on the Spider Queen? I guess we are. Saving. Nice and slow. Sure.
session. <laughs> now let's try that again. Yeah, right. Following your lead. Curses! I? Yeah. On your word. Stand still. Yeah. Hey. Now for the Spider Queen. Oh, how could you so weak it? Saving. Let's try some potions. Huh? Huh? Hmm? How may I help? Following your lead. Hi? Stand still! No! This thing isn't... Following your lead. Doing the job. Quest. Hey. How may I help? Yes? Feeling the drain. 
Did it! Our first boss fight. Oid reeked. An excellent dagger. Can we rest? Yes, okay. Let's save. Right. Laying low. This is a very strange looking place. Can't get back in. Is this a bug? I'll be back when I get back in. Okay, we're back. Mm hmm. Gotta figure out how to get this portal open. Talk to the statue about this door here. Large liver spotted man, barrel chested and paunchy, cowers in the far corner of the room. 
his white hair a tangled stringy mess. He covers his face and chest with trembling hands, unable to look in your direction. No, keep away from us. Leave us. Maybe we should come back later? Are you Marwald? He looks up over his hand, the, the muscles around his eyes twitching, and begins whispering to himself in sharp hisses, as though having an argument. All at once he stops shaking, a sudden calmness falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly, and he looks you dead in the eye like a cornered animal about to pounce. His voice suddenly turns... raspy. Mayor Wald isn't here, and he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit! I'm a watcher! I met a woman in Gilded Vale who thought you could help me. Mayor Wald will speak with you, but you will maintain your distance, or you'll have me to answer to. Come um, to speak to Mayor Wald? Mayor Wald, whose touch is poison? Mayor Wald, who knows not his effect? I was told I am a watcher and that you could tell me more about it. And about uh, a tablet of some worth after that, uh, once you or two are finished, of course. A window, window to the ether where spirits dwell. Hear and reach into it, speak and listen through it. A watcher sees souls, reads them knows their pasts, souls of the living, souls of the dead, an empath, and the souls see them back. Used it to help beings in both realms, did I. What the gods wanted of me, thought I. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. Little I knew. Uh, I was accosted by spirits on my way here. What do they want? No! No! Forgive me! Forgive me! You seem to have lost your mind. Lost? No. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. An awakening. Aloth's eyes narrow as he looks at the old man. How could a simple awakening have driven you to this? What's an awakening? Many lifetimes we have. Souls into womb and exit corpse. Carry with them all experiences, all knowledge, all identities. Yet, we do not remember. Hidden from us. What end? What end? Only the gods know. Certain things can stir memories from lives long buried. Awaken the old memories. The old personalities. Memory. Personality, identity, any might resurface, or all. And I seem to be having a conversation with several of them right now. Ghosts of the mind. Mayerwald has lost control. Mayerwald's body no more. What are those spirits? Spirits, and not spirits. Always whispering to Mayerwald. Reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them. Form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Mayerwald awakened, they could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not less. The spirits are memories from previous lives? Troubled memories. Angry memories, pulling Mayerwald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier, soldier and marauder, how could they know? I've seen apparitions like those elsewhere since I became a watcher. Oh, no. 
No, no, no. You too. You too. All at once, in spite of his abject misery, his expression changes to one of utmost sympathy. Poor man, poor man. They will take you too. Aloth's eyes dart between you and Meerwald. What exactly does he mean? Surely something can be done. You're saying I'll end up like you? So fragile, the Watcher's mind. So real, his memories. Once awakened, how can he sleep? If I'm awakened to a past life, how would that have happened? You were reminded of it. Strong memories, lingering lives, they dwell near the surface, waiting to be remembered, waiting to take your mind for their own. Meowald sat at his hearth and watched his fire, watched the wood burn. Then came the memory of another fire and burning wood and screams. Why do these past lives still trouble you? My fault. All my fault. Soldier and marauder. Soldier and marauder and Meowald. No forgiveness for what's past. No undoing what's done. No sleep. No sleep for the Watcher. War there was all around. War of stone. War of tree. War of tree. Oh, of course, the Broken Stone War and the War of Black Trees. This was in the early period of Adiran colonization, fighting between the Deerwood colonists and the native Glan Fathens, you see. But that was a long time ago. Death we brought to the settler men. We, the Nine Claws. Claws of Nine. Worse what we did to the women. For love of the gods. The gods' love. For their love. I met one of your memory spirits. There was talk of a raiding village. Merwald's voice becomes raspy and he is somewhere else in place and time, speaking to someone unseen. Hold her down. Head her. Give this hat to your bitch an heir that belongs in heir Glotfath. <laughs> His soul is marked by flame, and those marks will never heal. His trial has broken him, but better than that but better that than to live in weakness. Go on. The boy. The boy. The baby boy. The boy. Conceived in the raid. Conceived by force. Vessel for Marauder. Slain in the raid. Marauder and the boy. Marauder and soldier. A baby conceived by the raider. What do you mean it was a vessel for him? For the soul. A marauder's soul. Same soul. One soul. Boy's soul. Marauder's soul. Raised in lies and vengeance. Raised to soldier. Raised for the fire. Born for the fire. Then that was his mother I met in the keep. She told him his father was killed by the raiders. You'll get no pity from me. The crimes of the Nine Claws clan in the last war are still unavenged. But the gods are just. They have led me here. In my father's name, every one of you will burn. Light it. Uh-oh. What, so he came back in his next life to burn his own clan? No wonder he's such a mess now. That'll stain you right down to your soul. Merwell's shoulders slump. He rocks back and forth agitated. He mutters to himself, oblivious of your presence. Soldier and marauder, lies and vengeance and dead villages. All dead. All dead. What for? What for? I don't know. How little we know. There must be some way to make these memories go away. No. Always there. Always remembered. Can't forget. 
can't unsee. I didn't just remember. Someone caused this. They wore masks and spoke of books and keys. And a queen. There was a man there. He seemed familiar to me. Keys of lead. Books of burden. Queens that were. Known to me are they. The leaden key. The leaden key. It seems we share an enemy, Gradius. Assassins and watchers and watcher wakers both. They certainly keep busy. What can you tell me about this leaden key? Secrets. Secrets and deceptions and schemes. Who knows their answers? Not they. Not they. Crossed them before. Hatred of watchers. Hatred and fear. Much we see. Threat to secrets. So Merwald is a watcher, too. Who is this queen they pray to? Woodica. Goddess. Crown shattered and body burned. Binder of oaths and grudge holder. Bearer of justice. But whose? If the leaden key caused my awakening, could they undo it? Many secrets do they keep. Unawaken? Mayhap. Who else if not they? Do you know where I might find the leaden key? City of Defiance. Never far from the Queen. That must be Defiance Bay. I need to go so I can search for this man from the leaden key. Sleep well. Sleep well. Hold! I know your will die. Your actions were seen. You would sooner betray us to the Adia land thieves than take orders from me. You're confusing me with someone from a past life. Your betrayal is for nothing. Your warnings are lost on these foreigners, and their blood will be Galloway's tribute this night. I have asked the elders for the honor of claiming your head as my first trophy, and they have granted it. Beg for the Seeker God to grant you a quick death. Please, I don't want to fight this... this man, this deranged man. Damn it. Everybody on Merwald. Hi? Hey. How may I help? What? Following your lead. How may I help? Thank you. 
Focus. There is a change in the air in the keep. What was thick and suffocating feels to you somehow more breathable, as though yielding to a conquering invader. Marewald's body lies inert. You can feel his soul lingering there, uncertain. There is something unique about his soul in this place, a bond formed in decades of inhabitants and lordship that feels somehow palpable to you, as though even in death the keep knows its former master, and the former master remembers his keep. In your mind's eye, the bond seems to, to you as a frayed rope, ghostly and alive. Its frayed ends writhing like tide pool anemones, and you find that if you concentrate on it, you have the ability to, to manipulate its strands. Let's sever the rope and let him pass. Strand by strand, the connections fly apart like the overstressed strings of some ethereal instrument. With the tearing of the final string, the rope becomes liquid and dissolves from your awareness. Marewell's soul hovers near you, a vortex of strife and discord, but there is something else there beneath it, something like relief. His soul passes through one of the walls and is gone. All right, we will find the ruins beneath Kadnua next time. Take care. <laughs>